Good morning. You are tuning in for the most exciting sporting event of the century. The State of Origin. The water polo State of Origin. We're here in sunny Canberra. And today, N Swiss, the New South Wales Institute of Sport, plays Queensland. Queensland Academy of Sport. The showdown of the weapons. <laughs> today, I'm wearing Nike shoes, Valor N Swiss jumper, Valor backpack. Fun fact about this jumper is it actually glows in the dark. I tested it out last night and it's true. So that's really important. What are you wearing today? Fit check, New Balance shoes, blonde socks, Lulu tights. Again, Valor hoodie, glows in the dark also. <laughs> Fancy that, it's the same brand. What, uh, what are you wearing today? Just got my ASICs, and for shorts, Lulu puffer, and like, as always, glow in the dark hoodie. Love it. Fight on. Guys, we're all wearing different shoes. Both for who's is the best in the comments. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Okay, oh, why am I stressing? You still have 10 minutes. My time is late. That's so true. <laughs> One thing you learn as a young athlete is on time is late, especially in the world of water polo. Yep. If you're five minutes early, you're late. Yep. Yeah, you need to be... So if a pool session starts at 7, you need to be there... 6.45. No, 6.30. No, 6.45? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be there at like 6 to be early for the half an hour early warm-up. Yeah. If you want to get in the good books, you got to do your own prep. So exactly. Like, be there a little early. I like to chat too. So. so yeah, if the program says seven, it really means six. So we're doing a little gym primer before our game tonight. No. Nathan's no. camera shy. Yes, no one's in here. <laughs> Do a pull up. Go! Oh! That was our gym primer before the game. It's supposed to make you feel explosive, ready to go. Queensland's shaking in their boots right now. I'm turning translucent in Canberra. I can't see a cloud. If I go like this, I can't see a cloud. No, nah. no cloud. My skin's terrible thanks to the yeah, chlorine. I've moisturized twice every night. I, brown. I don't care what state you're at, maroon is an ugly colour. Yeah, legit, I would hate that. Ours is actually a pretty blue. Yeah, we look hot. How are we feeling? I see you're in. Go! But we had fun doing it, <laughs> and now we get to be in a team with all those bitches. 
joking. Love you guys. <laughs> so obviously the game wasn't that deep. It was really competitive and an awesome series to be a part of and I'm pissed off that we lost. It meant a lot because it's part of the World Championship selection camp, but it wasn't like the state of origin for water polo. It was a th it was over three weekends, four teams. There was the Australian Junior Under 20s team. They've got world champs coming up. Then there was a barbarian team which was the other states that didn't have enough to field a full team so they just combined like Perth and Melbourne and stuff they combined and made the barbarians and then it was N-Swiss and QAS so New South Wales Institute and Queensland Institute over three weeks they had like three games against all the teams the first two weekends I didn't play because I was in America of course but then the third week I did and it was so much fun I'm salty as that we lost because I we were up 4-1 after the first quarter and I really thought we had it. I actually explicitly remember turning and I said to Keisha on the bench, I was like, well, this is fun. And then I shot myself in the foot because they came back and we tied 9 all, and then went into penalties and we lost penalties. <sighs> Salty. But yeah, it wasn't that deep, hence all like the screwing around and stuff at the start with each other. We're all teammates and we had uh, Stingers camp now straight after which is world champ selection camp but we're all really close and we're all friends mate v mate state v state if you will but anyway enjoy this compilation of me moving from the old resis into the new resis at ais for the start of the stingers camp moving out of my trusty cell that served me so well for three days that's the state institute part of the camp done so we're just going across the road into the new residential hall which is similar vibes but Slightly more done up, a good tour. This is our new room in the new residential building. So it's much of a muchness, but like this bed is obviously much better. It's just slightly cleaner, slightly updated. And then there's a nice common room area. I mean my towel, shower, bathroom. So much nicer. I'm really not sure how interesting that vlog was. It was fun to do. It's nice to be back in Australia, playing Australian water polo, a nice change of scenery, change of pace, different kind of training, different style. So yeah, it's really exciting. And it's exciting that I get to show you guys the behind the scenes, something that I feel like it hasn't been done before in water polo. So yeah, I'm really excited. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. I'll keep it up. But for now, we're into the selection camp and then we find out via email if we made the team on Monday. Uh, I'm not sure when it's released to the public, but you guys will be the first to know. Yeah, then if all goes well, we leave in two weeks for Singapore and then world championships are in Japan. And I can't wait to take you behind the scenes of that too. It's going to be epic. But anyway, for now, subscribe. Love you guys.